All right, Sonia and Darren, thank you. The students I talked to earlier today tell me everyone basically is trying to make the best out of a bad situation, but they do concede inside the high school conditions are uncomfortable. From the outside, dozens of open windows at East Haven High on a hot, sticky day, the only evidence of a problem. Students say conditions inside the building are far from ideal. It's pretty brutal. East Haven senior Tyler Clark tells me everyone in the school is miserable after two warm days without a working air conditioning unit. It's just too warm. Like All the classrooms are too warm. The air conditioning just doesn't do anything. Fans don't do anything. And so. there are fans, are there portable fans in yeah, the class? there's only a few of them now, very few. We wanted to talk to someone in authority about the situation, but both the superintendent and the principal declined our request for interviews. According to a published report, both of the chillers needed to circulate cool air through the building are broken. The problem has become an issue over the past two days of steamy weather. It's not like unbearable, but you know, it's certain classrooms are worse than others. Like if there's no windows, it's kind of bad, but I mean, it's nothing you can't really deal with unless you're like wearing long pants and long stuff. It's not really that bad. But these seniors tell me the normal dress code, which bans, among other things, cut off shirts, has been relaxed while the cooling system is down. I mean, usually it's cold in our school. It's, it's fairly cold. We could wear sweatshirts and be comfortable. But the, these past few days have been hot. And again, since no one from the school or the district was willing to talk with us about the situation, we don't really have an idea how long it will take to fix the problem. On the bright side, there are only a few more weeks left in the current school year. Sony, back to you.